हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ बायो केमिस्ट्री विच वी आर डूइंग फ्रॉम सत्या नारायण आज इंजाइम्स का टॉपिक कंटिन्यू करेंगे एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच इज डायग्नोस्टिक इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ इंजाइम्स अब देखें हम थ्रू आउट दिस चैप्टर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव बिन टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ इंजाइम्स वर्क वॉट आर इंजाइम्स वॉट आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इंजाइम इंजाइम मैकेनिस्टिक्स किस तरह से काम करते हैं टूडेज वीडियो विल फोकस ऑन कि कैन वी ऑल्सो यूटिलाइज दिज इंजाइम्स फॉर डायग्नोस्टिक पर्पजेज सो इसकी मैं आपको एक एग्जाम्पल देता हूँ टू बिगिन विद एंड देन वील स्टार्ट ऑफ द डिस्कशन सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऑल ऑफ हज हैव दिस ब्यूटिफुल लिवर एंड दिस लिवर कंटेन्स हेपैरोसाइड्स ओके नाउ हेपैरोसाइड्स कंटेन्स सर्टन इंजाइम्स एंड इफ देर इज एनी इंजरी टू द हेपैरोसाइड दीज इंजाइम्स विल बी रिलीज आउट इन द ब्लड एंड यू कैन डिटेक्ट दैम बाय द डायग्नोस्टिक टेस्ट सो इफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू हैव अ पर्टिकुलर टाइप ऑफ इंजाइम एलिवेटेड इन द ब्लड that may be indicative of some organ damage ab ye tamam organs ke liye simple principle hai so for example if pancreas is inflamed uh, pancreatitis so the enzyme that we get in very high amount in uh, blood is amylase similarly if there is myocardial infarction um and because of the infarction the myocardiocytes are damaged and the enzymes released into the blood and their levels go up so Uh, enzyme levels can be diagnostic in many clinical conditions in the body okay so estimation of enzyme activities in the biological fluids is of great clinical importance enzymes in circulation are divided into two uh, groups the first one is plasma functional and then the other category is plasma non functional jaisa naam se bhi zahir hai plasma functional enzymes are normally present in the plasma and they have specific functions super no they are not only present in your blood but they are also performing some function generally these enzyme activities are higher in plasma than in the tissue and therefore they are called plasma functional enzymes so they are working in the plasma they are mostly synthesized in the liver and enter the circulation and their examples include lipoprotein lipase for example plasmin thrombin cholinesterase ceruloplasmin all these enzymes they work big time in your plasma and then there are um, plasma non functional enzymes so these enzymes are either totally absent or they are present at a very low concentration in the plasma okay that that's for the normal circumstances so normally they are not present in the plasma the digestive enzymes for example amylase pepsin trypsin lipase they are uh, usually not present in the plasma they don't perform any function there but uh, um if they are present in there then uh, that is indicative of something okay so the digestive enzymes of the gi tract present in the plasma are known as the secretory enzyme all the other plasma enzymes associated with metabolism of cell are collectively referred to as constitutive enzymes so these are two categories of plasma non functional enzymes both of these categories they they are either absent in the plasma or they are present in the very very low amount estimation of activities of non plasma specific enzymes is very important for diagnostic of the disease so for example if uh, amylase levels as i told you are elevated that is indicative of something wrong in the pancreas and so on and so forth okay the normal serum level of an enzyme indicates the balance between the synthesis and release which is the usual turnover so agar normal values hain so everything is fine jitna ban raha hai utna wo utilize ho raha hai the raised enzyme levels could be due to cellular damage increased rate of cellular turnover proliferation of cell increased synthesis of the enzyme ye tamam categories in mein sabse common jo clinical scenario hai wo cellular damage ka hai jaise main aapko yahan samjha raha tha ki if there is damage to the myocardiocytes then uh, you know certain enzymes will be elevated if pancreas is inflamed certain enzymes will be elevated if liver is inflamed certain enzymes so damage to any cell can lead to increase in the amount of that particular enzyme in the plasma serum enzymes are conveniently used as markers to detect cellular damage so if these enzymes are elevated they are uh, basically acting as marker to uh, damage so for example bar bar main naam le raha hu agar amylase ke levels badhe hue hain so it's a marker of pancreatic damage and therefore it is used in the laboratory diagnostics okay Uh, please note that the term biomarker refers to any laboratory analyte which can be an enzyme protein any molecule that is useful for diagnosis or identifying the prognosis of the disease so diagnosis matlab aapko disease ka pata chale aur prognosis ka matlab ye hai ki wo disease kis tarah progress karegi ye pata chale 
Biomarker is a very vague term and it is uh, less frequently a necessary statement. A summary of important enzymes used for diagnosis of specific diseases is given. In, this is a very important table. Let's go see it a little bit. Detailed information on diagnostic enzyme including reference values is provided in another table and brief account of selected enzymes is given over here. So, now this is the table bhi, aur, uh, thodi mein hum text and then we read some These are all very important enzymes which are clinically highly highly relevant. So, let's first take uh, a look at this particular table. So, these are important enzymes which are routinely used in the diagnosis of diseases. So if serum amylase levels are elevated, so this is the list of elevated enzymes, this will indicate acute pancreatitis. So uh, because the pancreatic cells contain amylase and if there is damage to the pancreatic cell, this amylase is released into the blood. Okay. Serum glutamate, pyruvate transamine, SGPD and SGOD, they are associated with liver disorders and MI, SGOD with MI, okay. Alkaline phosphorase can be uh, problems within the bone such as rickets or any obstructive issue within the biliary tree. So for example, obstructive jaundice. So we have gallbladder and then bile duct and all any anywhere in the liver canalicular system, if there is blockage, it will lead to increase alkaline phosphatase. And this is also synthesized in the uh, osteocytes. Therefore, if there is any damage to the bone cells, you will also see alkaline phosphatase levels high. So that was alkaline phosphatase. Then we have acid phosphatase and that is uh, uh, pretty much very, uh, you know, identification mark for prostate gland cancer. Then lactase dehydrogenase, um, heart attacks and liver diseases, CPK, creatine phosphokinase associated with MI, myocardial, then that's an early marker, aldolase for muscles, particularly their dystrophy, five prime nucleotidase, hepatitis, and gamma GT for alcoholism. So, you see, if you see in the clinic a patient who has, you know, signs and symptoms of any of these diseases and you want to actually check their blood value. So, for example, if you're suspecting somebody with prostate, so during the workup, one of the tests will be acid phosphatase. So, if you are working up a patient with hepatitis, you will be ordering multiple tests for uh, that will be including also 5-nucleotidase. So, these are very, very important uh, enzyme and this list and this table is super important for your exams, okay? So, let's talk about some of them uh, in the text form amylase the activity of the serum amylase is increased in acute pancreatitis the peak value is observed within 8 to 12 hours of inflammation of the pancreas elevated activity of amylase is found in urine as well serum amylase is also important for the diagnosis of chronic pancreatitis parotitis but that's rare amylase is kind of very much linked to the pancreatitis okay then alt sgpd for hepatitis uh, ast SGOD for myocardial infarction uh, may also be released, uh, you know, increased in amount in liver diseases, but uh, directly linked with MI. Uh, it may be noted that SB SGPD is more specific for the diagnosis of liver disease, while SGOT, so there are differences, okay, PT and OT for heart disease. Alkaline phosphatase, I told you, either bone issues or obstructive jaundice, and acid phosphatase for prostate cancer. Lactate dehydrogenase for MI, also for liver issues and creatine kinase for muscle issues. Okay, muscular dystrophy, for example. So that was very important text, right? And gamma GD is also uh, for liver issues, particularly associated with alcoholism, right? Now, sometimes the plasma level, so th this was all when the plasma levels are elevated. So this is the table indicating everything which goes up in these disorders. Sometimes the levels are also decreased and uh, sometimes the plasma activities of the enzymes may be lower than the normal which could be due to decreased enzyme synthesis and this is kind of rare. Usually in the clinics we uh, go for high uh, plasma levels of enzymes. Uh, so this is the table which is showing decreased plasma concentration of certain enzymes such as if amylase is decreased that may be indicative of liver disease Disease, but that's not too sensitive therefore it's not routinely used uh, pseudocholinesterase 
uh, and this is uh, if the levels are decreased may be indicative of uh, liver issues including cirrhosis and cancer ceruloplasmin levels are if decreased wilson disease that's very specific and g6pd in red blood cell if these levels are decreased uh, it is perhaps indicative of uh, hemolytic anemia of congenital origin so uh, long list and more routinely used when the enzymes are elevated in the blood but you always have to consider this short list because this is important only four of them you have to remember ki ye enzymes jab kam ho jate hain blood mein to kaun kaun si disease ke sath inki association hai so with this we are now left with the, this particular table jiske liye thoda sa kitab ko ghuma dete hain so that we understand it's kind of replicating um the similar story jo humne pichle table mein dekhi thi okay in a different context so there's the name of the enzyme and the normal reference value and then the disease association so amylase levels for example if serum amylase are increased you know this is pancreatitis okay if serum lipase are included this is also indicative of uh, pancreatitis also of uh, cancer of pancreas but amylase is more routinely used because of its sensitivity and specificity similarly transaminase is uh, liver issues okay but if we are talking about uh, you know as got this is more for myocardial infarction alkaline phosphatase for bone and liver issues and acid phosphatase for prostate cancer um ldh you know for muscles uh, and mi and also ldolase for muscular dystrophy and then there is a long list creatine kinase so, so we have actually done this all and they are presenting this in a tabulated form so that's all about the diagnostic importance is chapter mein aage ek aur bhi section aayega jisme we will repeat the same kind of thing but for now i want you to give you an idea ke how these enzymes are important if there is any damage in the primary tissue jiske andar wo enzyme hai if there is damage the enzyme will be released in the blood and the levels will be elevated so more routinely elevated enzyme levels indicate something and there is a list of enzymes which are routinely elevated in uh, you know certain disorders so there is established link you have to remember them sometimes there is decreased level of enzymes and that is also important so if the enzyme levels are decreased then uh, only four scenarios that you have to remember and we discuss those okay so that's all about the diagnostic role of enzymes i hope you understood the video and if you did please subscribe the channel share uh, the videos with your colleagues leaks and i'll see you in another video very soon my name is professor asif qureshi and you are watching dr asif lectures